Shalom Zion. So first of all, I want to give all praises and glory to the great I am. So this is an impromptu, nothing big, no lesson. Spirit hit me, just wanted to talk and talk about a few things, but I'm calling this Space Jews for a reason. And I'm using the title that Dave Chappelle used to call Space Jews on his latest show on Netflix called The Closer. Now, when he said that, I was kind of surprised and then I wasn't, you know, so the whole thing came about when he was talking about all these UFOs and he was like, space Jews, space Jews. Now, we know, or at least some of us probably caught that. I knew exactly where he was going with that because Dave has a way of putting coded words out there and he knows the deal. And so that's why he said it like that. But really, he was referring to that the angels are Negroids, or if you want to use a more common term, black. So again, this is not a lesson. This is just a throw on words. It was an impromptu, but I just, I wanted to bring that out because I thought that was very interesting. Because you know, when you look at all these Hollywood movies, they always throw in these little hints and these little spikes to see if we catch anything. Because they know, they know the world leaders that run this world, they know that Elohim is black, or if they want to call him God, they know he is black. They know the angels are black. They know that his chosen people are black or Negro. They know this. Now, you may be saying, well, if they know all that, you know, why even try? They know they can't defeat the Most High. They know they're not going to be able to win. Yet they got this space program that they're trying to put into action. But they know that they don't have a chance. And sometimes I wonder, it's like, what, what is the point of them even trying? But even the devil is going to go hard, flat on his back. The scripture says it plainly in Luke 10, 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. His time is over. It's a wrap. It is a wrap. These people who run this world, these nations, it's over. It's I say it like this, brothers and sisters, the kingdom is already here. The victory is already here. Now, you might, what do you mean? What do you mean when you say that? We don't see no kingdom around us. Well, you got to understand the most high is past, present, and future. So what every, anything that's happened already has already happened. Everything. Everything that we've done, every thought that we have thought, whether it be good or bad, has already been done. We're just now catching up to our future. And let me tell you something, brothers. Don't think for once that the Most High did not see everything, even unto this very present day. It is all planned out. The Most High has everything in the palm of his hands. He is the one pulling the strings, putting pieces together where they should go. We don't have the power to do that. And we're seeing all this stuff unfold right before our eyes. But our enemies have been letting us know who we were for over a hundred years now, but we just don't get it. Let me give you an example. Now, I know y'all remember this scene. Some of y'all probably caught it and some of you probably didn't, but this is a scene from The Equalizer 2 that Denzel Washington played in. I want you to look up in the top left corner and tell me what you see. You see the so-called replica of the Star of David, so, but look how they positioned that as Denzel was walking towards us. You see what I'm saying? This is this is what I'm talking about. Many things that they do, they always point out these little these little hints who we are, throw it in our faces, and they sit back and laugh and they're like, watch these fools won't even get it. They won't even pick it up. Y'all saw the same thing with Django dressed in blue. Remember the Black Panther, Killmonger, Blue Jacket? little tassels hanging on the side. You see what I'm saying? I can go on and on, but I'm not here to do like movie breakdown because there's plenty of brothers who've done those kind of things. But I'm just telling you the facts. They throw those little hints out there for us in our faces. And many of our people don't even get it. It just goes right over our head. So they're telling you who you are. And not just by identity, but by bloodline. They know there's a bloodline of Israelites. They know that Zion is a bloodline. They know this. We don't know it, but they know it. 
So yeah, space Jews, huh? Yeah, Dave Chappelle, you was right on point because you know exactly what you were saying. And see, Dave, he's he's one, I'm gonna tell you something, my, my personal opinion, he's probably the smartest of all the comedians. He just, he has a way of putting those words in there. And I'm gonna tell you something, you cannot tell me that a lot of these celebrities don't know who we are. They know. Dave Chappelle knows, Denzel knows, uh, Ice Cube knows, you have a lot of uh, your rappers out there that know, you have a lot of your R&B singers out there that knows, you have your other actors out there that know. Monique knows, y'all know who Monique is, the female comedian. She knows, and a lot of other people know. Now, what they do with that is gonna be entirely up to them. You know, we all gonna be held responsible for the information that we have and don't give. But I'm just telling you, they know. They're, a lot of these celebrities, I'm telling you, a lot of these people know, and I, can, I can't even begin to name even a third of them, but they're out there, they know. A lot of them, some of them may be listening to some of our lessons and videos, but they know. But they can't just come out and say it because of the situation that they're in. You know, they got chains on their necks. And with Hollywood after him, guide them like little dogs and puppies. So, but this thing is gonna break, something's gonna give. And I'm telling you, and I've been seeing stuff and things that's happening all around us. Yeah, these Afghan refugee camps, it's real. I saw the refugee camps with my own eyes. It's real, they're out there. And y'all better get ready because they're gonna try to do the same thing they did with the Vietnamese. But guess what? It's gonna backfire because you cannot get rid of Israel. You cannot bleed out Israel. You cannot race out Israel, even though we have a lot of our people who are so integrated with their enemies. You know, let, let them let them be, let them go. If they wanna get with their oppressors, mm -hmm, that's on them. But the ones, the remnant who are gonna stay faithful are gonna be pure in heart and body and soul. Those are the ones you're not gonna destroy. Those are, those are the ones that you're not gonna whitewash. Space Jews, y'all better get ready, Zion. It's getting ready to go down. Down, down, down. Like we've never seen it before. This thing is getting ready to hit the fan. And y'all don't be, you know, don't fret over this whole jab thing. Like some of y'all getting, y'all getting so worked up. I had a, a sister, I saw a sister's comment on uh, one of my posts and you know, she was stating that she's frustrated because all the news and and right now, so the news, see, that's the purpose of the news media. They, they are designed to scare you. That's what they do. They're designed to use scare tactics. And I'm talking strictly to, the, to our seniors, especially our senior daughter Zion. Just turn the news off. Look, turn that mess off. Don't even look at it. I ain't looked at no news channel in the last six months. I'm not even worried about that. And y'all got to stop bellying up so easy. Look, if they ain't put a gun to your head and came to you and told you, Hey, you're gonna have to, you're gonna be fired if you don't take this vaccine. You make them, you make them drag you out of there. We are fighters, Zion. We don't just belly up at the first sign of trouble. Don't quit your job just because, oh, well, they, they got a mandate coming out. Well, did they come and tell you you gotta take it? Are they twisting your arm? No, you. it's a scare tactic. Don't do it. Don't let that bother you. Like I said, we are fighters. We don't just belly up at the first sign of red flashing. You know, so the Most High got our backs, and look, we're gonna come out victorious. The Most High is gonna come out victorious, and when it's all said and done, we're gonna look back and be like, "Wow, you know, I wish I would have trusted in the Most High even more." But you know, we can do that now. So with that being said, just a little talk. Space Jews, you know, we know the deal. We know all about the angelic host what they're getting ready to do. And Yeshua HaMashiach is going to be the leader, the rain hell maker that's going to rain upon our oppressors. And then he's going to turn them over unto us to do whatever we please, as it says in Enoch 95, 4, or verse three, whatever you read. If you read the Bible, it's probably going to be 93. But regardless, Go ahead and put on your boxing gloves and get ready because it's going to be some serious action up on the hill. 
So with that being said, brothers, so just go ahead and just leave your comments. I know that you probably want to weigh in on this. Probably got a lot to say. It's all good. Just go ahead and get it off your chest and everything because that's the place to do it. But we're getting ready to get down. Things are going down. It's getting ready to get hot up in here. And I'm going to tell you, we're getting ready to, to witness some things that just going to blow our minds little by little. Little by little. Just be patient. Allow the most high to do his work because he's not going to come no quicker or no slower. He's going to come exactly as planned. So with that being said, I say shalom and stay strong.